Hi guys, uh, this is the first time I film a video talking to the camera. I feel nervous because I never speak or talk to the camera by myself. I'm always with John for his channel. But I decided to do it and to fight against my introvert side to tell you a story about how I became an artist. And I think everything started um, when I was a little girl. First of all, I have to say that I don't like to call myself artist because for me, artist, artist is someone who creates something amazing. And I don't think I do that yet, but I'm still learning. So anyway, um, yeah, everything started when I was a little girl. My mom says that I used to draw stuff on the walls all the time. And she was getting crazy because all the house, all the yeah, all the house was full of drawings in the wall, and um, she got tired of it. But at the same time, she thought that it was a good thing for me to experiment and maybe to develop my creative creativity. So instead of just she just keep uh, telling me not to or getting mad at me, she gave me one of the walls in the kitchen she told me this wall is yours you can do whatever you want you can draw on it i don't remember this if i'm honest with you i was too little maybe four four five years old um but she says that actually i was so happy with the gift that i stopped doing it everywhere and i started to draw just in that wall so i think she did an amazing thing for me because instead of stopping me doing what I liked, she was encouraging me to keep doing it, but in one place. <laughs> then when I got older, I started drawing on the back of my notebooks in school, doing some drawings uh, of cartoons or animals. And in summer, uh, in Mexico, at least for middle class people, we don't have the, those summer camps we just stay home with our parents so my mom used to take us out to the garden with a big table and she used to buy uh, color pencils watercolors and a lot of things for us to draw and to keep us busy during summer i love that i will never forget that that was something i loved so much even my brothers liked it but i think i was the happiest one I was always waiting for the summer for that reason, for her to buy us all those materials and start drawing and draw. And I used to draw a whole day. I loved it so much. And high school, I took classes with a really cool teacher. He introduced me to this um, material and I loved it. I really loved it. It's so easy to use. It's, it's messy. It's very messy, but at the same time, it's pretty simple to use it. I started to practice that medium a lot. I got really good. I mean, not super good, but I got good at it. I drew some dogs, a lion, a couple things, nothing serious. But it was just my hobby. I never tried to make money with it at all. I don't know, I never thought about it. And then in college, I stopped drawing. I didn't have time and I stopped doing it. When I came to US, uh, I don't know if you know, but I came here as a nanny. I was an au pair of two little kids. And when the family knew that I liked to draw, they gave me a really nice set of pastels and paper to draw. So one day after I met John and he, and I asked him, which one is your favorite animal? And he told me he liked uh, wolves, wolves? <laughs> Wolf, a wolf. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I decided to draw one for him. He still has it in the room. I can show you a picture somewhere here. Um, and he, when he saw it, he told me, Wow, you're really good at it. And now that I see that I look at it, I think I'm, I wasn't that good. <laughs> but he liked it and he told me, Why aren't you making money with this? And that's when it hit me. Uh, that I never thought I could make money with my drawings. I decided that it was time to start um, more serious with it. 
so I started an account um, on Instagram my pet artist and I started to promote my drawings with my friends and I had a good response so I thought this is something people actually like something people are willing to pay for and that's how I started to draw pets, cats, dogs, even a horse. Horse? <laughs> oh my god, sorry. <laughs> when I moved here to New York, I noticed how much people love their pets. I see more people with, with dogs than kids around this area. And I thought it was a great market for me. So now I'm starting this business here in the, in the US. It's hard because in New York there are tons of really really talented artists doing the same thing so it's gonna take time and I have to work really hard but I'm gonna do it so I hope you like my story about how I became an artist it's actually pretty simple I think there's nothing special about it just the fact that my mom gave me a wall <laughs> and that's what when everything started so yep that's my story and I hope you liked it. It's nothing really crazy, but it has some some special moments. And anyway, thank you for being patient with my English. That's something also that is gonna get better if I keep doing this because I'm struggling with some words right now. <laughs> and I'm thinking right now, after I finish this video, I'm gonna run to the computer and check how to say those things. And I'm gonna learn new words, so. I'm not just gonna get better in drawing, at drawing, I'm gonna get better uh, with my English. So stay with me and see how I do those things. Bye!